I was born in London and shipped to South Africa in a cardboard box when I was a year old. I was left in an orphanage when I was six weeks old. Um, my parents came to Kenya um, and serving in the British Army. And my grandmother, who was a German Jewish refugee in South Africa, and she brought me up and she was a professional fashion designer. So I grew up with a pencil and brush in my hand. So from the earliest age, before I could speak, I could paint. My inspiration comes from my faith. I pray a lot and I feel that I am a hollow reed through which the paint flows. At the end of the day, I look around here and I feel that they were gifts to me. So why shouldn't I share them with you? So the um, local Kenyans buy my work as well as the international community. I was very excited, the exhibition that I had two years ago, I did 21 paintings and 17 were bought by pastoralists. That was very special, doing these wonderful Maasai's and um, having them bought by the same people. I love the, um, the natural beauty of Kenya and I also love the women of Kenya who have very kind hearts. I have slept in a mud hut and seen this, seen the crack of dawn and the women preparing porridge, the mother or maybe the mother and another mother working together and then they wake up the children who eat the porridge and get ready and walk some considerable distances to school. People are, are struggling financially and need to know that there is a market for the basket they weave and uh, the, the table mats and the floor mats and the candles and the bread. Some of the community were already qualified as nurses, midwives, nutritionists, and simply working with the community to help them realize their dream. And I think for centuries, my soul has traversed this continent and it's a great privilege to be able to be here because there's not a moment of your day where you can't do something for someone. As you see, you can just look out of the window here and you're inspired.